Yo, what's up guys? My name is Sean and today you're gonna be watching a sniping gameplay with the Moors. Uh this is an elite variant I have. I got it in a supply drop recently. And um it's called the Silver Silver Bullet, I believe. Yeah, and we're playing some kill confirmed. And basically has plus two damage and I think less mobility. That's pretty much the specialties of it. But I'm gonna like do really well in this little spot right here. And then I'm gonna briefly describe why I think I did so well in it. Because um, it is a pretty good sniping spot, even though it's low to the ground. And in advanced warfare, it seems like you have to be in an elevated position to do well, which is kind of annoying, but just how the game is. So, as you see here, kids are trying to find different ways to shoot me. And it's really hard, and there, there you go, I'm going to die. And now we're going to switch it over to a private match where I'm going to show you where I was standing and where people were shooting from and why this spot is very effective. Now people are shooting me from there, there, and right there, and that's where I died from over there. And uh, usually in my snipers, I run cold-blooded, the perk, cold-blooded, so that way I'm immune to thermal. And uh, see here, that's really hard, unless there's very little chance that someone's going to get me. Because I could be on the other half of those stairs. That's big, that's only half of the stairs you see right there. Now we're going to switch it over to up here. Still very, very hard to see me. And definitely, you know, hard to kill someone in there. Unless you're just kind of spraying in there. As you see, thermal. And now we're going to go to the spot where I died. This kid obviously probably died for me. That's how he knew he was there because it is basically pitch black in there. Uh, I'm pretty sure he probably just sprayed and prayed and then we started getting hit markers. He stopped aiming. You know, that's what you got to do if someone's in there. Unless you have thermal and you can see him in there, you're not going to be able to see him. And th this spot right here, once again, I don't think anyone killed me from here, but definitely pitch black when you look there. So... A couple things I want to talk about is, one thing is I'm so excited for Christmas. Not only is it just a great time to spend time with your family and all that kind of stuff, and really I'm going to take a break from YouTube, probably about a five, maybe a little bit less, you know, a little break. I think everyone, even though the Christmas noobs are coming, you know, that's what people look forward to in Christmas sometimes during, uh, you know, good players, they look for Christmas noobs, and I will be you know, looking for them when I return from my, you know, break, you know, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave and go see my grandparents and spend time with my family. But even though the Christmas noobs are coming, I still do think it's important for everyone to at least give YouTube and gaming a one day break. Just try to give it one day break. I think it's really important to spend time with your family without, you know, your PS4, 3, Xbox, anything getting in the way. Uh, we, no, I'm kidding, but, um, <laughs> you know, I think it's important to spend time with your family, and that's what you should do, uh, you know, I'm gonna produce, you know, I have off this week, obviously, from school, so I'm gonna produce a, you know, good amount of videos before I leave, uh, this will be uploaded on a Tuesday, which is actually when I usually upload, and I miss my Sunday upload, and I'm sorry for that, but what, what's gonna happen is, is I'm gonna post Tuesday, um, Wednesday and let's see here Wednesday is Christmas Eve and Thursday is Christmas so I'm gonna post two videos Wednesday and look at that kid pre fire me and he's dead <laughs> I'm gonna post two videos Wednesday and one Thursday and then I'm gonna take a break and then I probably want to upload till at least January so you know look forward to videos two videos on Wednesday, that sort of thing. Um, another thing I want to talk about in this video uh, is the Advanced Warfare uh, update. I know it's been a while. I, I think the update was 12, 18, 14. So it's about five days from now that I'm talking about it. But um, you guys gave me loads of support on the live commentary and I'm definitely going to do another one of those. Uh, maybe just do a live commentary. Uh, you know, maybe once a week. Would you guys like that? I don't know. Let me know. But, uh, I definitely, 
uh, you know, don't mind doing live comms if you guys like that. I personally just like to commentate, even though I'm not that good of a commentator, I personally just like to commentate over a subject. But we're getting way off track here. Uh, the update, basically, a lot of different things happened, and, uh, you know, uh, the it was mostly connectivity and that sort of thing, but the biggest thing was the system hack. It was made to be uh, plus 100 points to earn, so now it's 700 points rather than 600. And the skull that it kind of gave you when it first came up, they took that out. So that's a good thing. Uh, you know, I think all these changes were good. I think the perk balance in this game is pretty bad, to be honest. Uh, for making this game for over three years, they really should have put hardwired or, you know, move some of these perks that are actually pretty good into different categories. I think if they really wanted to nerf the system hack, they would put hardwire, which prevents it, you know, makes you immune to it. They would put it in, you know, maybe tier one or two and put like tier two fast hands and three, I don't know, something like that, something that nobody uses. Danger clothes, I don't know, put it out in three. But, um, as you see here, I'm doing pretty well with the sniper. Uh, you know, I got the sniper, the Morris sniper rifle diamond the other day. So I'll definitely be doing a best class setup for that. Um, right now, I actually just prestiged. So I don't have the iron sights unlocked. And I do want to get a little clip of me with the iron sights. Uh, you know, if I don't use this sniper that much in this, and that's prestige, I might just do one in a private lobby if that's okay, because the iron sights are not hard to get, but if you're not using the sniper that often, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Uh, you know, the patch notes, by the way, 1218, I'll put a link in the description if you want to read it. Really, it's not that much. There was no weapon balance, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, it was mostly just uh, the system hack. Uh, you know... I think there's still a couple more issues in this game, but, uh, you know, they're they're doing a pretty good job about, you know, updating that sort of thing. Uh, one thing I ha I am a little disappointed in, in in Sledgehammer games is the fact that they've already implemented micro DLCs into this game. Uh, obviously, it's only for the Edgebots, and is I don't know if it's for the Edgebots 360, but I know it's for the Edgebots 1. Um, you know... Micro DLCs essentially are things that you can buy to, you know, make your gun look better, you know, camos, or I think there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do in this micro DLC. You can customize your Etso uh, suit, all that kind of stuff. And um, I think they added four new camos. They are all very cool looking. I probably won't get them though, because I don't think. Uh, we should support a company that basically brings micro DLCs within like the first two months of the game. I definitely don't agree with that, but you know, do what you guys want. Uh, you know, I I think micro DLCs are a good way to make for a game to make profit to do to make the DLCs better, but they're really they're getting a little out of hand within the gaming community. But um. A lot of different topics discussed. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And uh, remember, two videos Wednesday. So make sure you come back for both of them. 35 and 7, the final score. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, bye.